All right, welcome back to uh, Insane November Pickups. You might be wondering why I've given it that subtitle. That's because I've just been on a completely mad collecting spree, which I certainly uh, think will slow down at some point in the near future. Um, but quite a lot to get through, so I'm going to crack on with it. Okay, so first of all, I got F0 for N64 in brilliant condition, 750 all in. Uh, which I was quite happy with that price, and then two days later, lo and behold, of course I saw it go for £2.50 altogether. £1 for the item, £1.50 for the quarters you pack in, in just as good condition. I was gutted. So that was uh, the first example of uh, eBay fuck-ups uh, recently, uh, which has given this uh, video its, its subtitle. So F0 there, happy with it nonetheless. Uh, next uh, are some Dreamcast games. Now, of course, Dreamcast games are notoriously fragile. Um, I've been lucky so far until last week. Uh, the postage really let me down. Um, I had a bit of an angry back and forth as well, actually, with some of the sellers here, um, until I realised that the very fact that several of these items were damaged probably meant that something fucked up at Royal Mail and not with the sellers, because one of them was packaged very well. And I didn't see any damage to the box, so it seemed quite unlikely that those things were damaged before they were posted. And again, yeah, because I had several things arrive damaged, I think it was down to Royal Mail. So I've been unlucky for the first time in a long time. And of course it would be Dreamcast boxes that fall foul of that. Um, so the first one was Marvel vs Capcom 2. Now this fe fetches a few quid on eBay. Um, it, was, uh, it was described as in great condition. Obviously quite a sought after game. And I got it for a decent price. I got it for £13.34, pence, which uh, is is pretty good for this. It, it regularly goes for over 20 quid. So, I wasn't too happy when I noticed that. You can see it's absolutely mangled. Yeah, yeah, not good. Not good. There's bits floating about in there. It's terrible. I actually had trouble loading it as well for a, a good while. Um, got it working eventually. I might have to get it cleaned at Game Station just to get it extra, be extra sure about it. But I wasn't happy about that. <clears throat> I have come to realise it's probably uh, the Royal Mail's fault though, because these things came and well, that was uh, packaged terribly, by the way. A Dreamcast box sent in a jiffy bag with a bit of bubble wrap. Not good enough. If you're sending Dreamcast, eBay sellers, you need cardboard as well as bubble wrap. And if you're going to charge two fifty for postage, then yeah. I want it in a cardboard box. But these things also came damaged. And, um, and uh, where, where's the other one? And that's why I don't think uh, it was the seller's uh, fault because the, these was packaged brilliantly. First was Super Magnetic Neo, which still won't load past the first level because when it came, it was a little bit mashed up. I've since put it in a different box, but that was broken as well. I put it, I've swapped, swapped the box over. Really interesting platformer. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, uh, this guy is magnetic and he uh, uses negative and positive pol polarities to manipulate or uh, to navigate the surroundings. P pretty cool little game. That one was 426. It's a good price for that. I already had uh, some of these on um, on copied ROM discs, but uh, I wanted the originals for my favourites on Dreamcast. So there's that one. Pretty happy with that. Uh, that also came with Sonic Adventure 1. Which I can't see at the minute. I don't know where I've put that. Sonic Adventure 1, uh, which came... Oh, here it is. Another one that was uh, came with in the same... In a lovely box, lovely lovely packaged. Both damaged when they arrived. Anyway, that one was 99p. Also for the Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure 2. That came unmolested, so that was alright. And that, I got that one for 13.55. Again, pretty decent. The average that this goes for is a bit, probably a bit higher. Certainly, see it go for well over twenty quid. So to get it for thirteen fifty-five is pretty decent. Uh, the last Dreamcast game that I picked up was Power Stone Two, eleven ninety-seven. Again, this is a game that goes for fair, fair amount more than that. So to get that for eleven ninety-seven, pretty happy with that. Power Stone Two, in really good condition. Uh, right on to Mega Drive stuff. The platform that I said I wasn't going to bother collecting for at the moment. <laughs> I've just gone crazy on. Okay, first off is my Super Lamy. An interesting looking game. Uh, platformer. Boxing complete. Now, this is one of several carts that I picked up recently that does have a little bit of curling 
I've, I've kind of pressed that down, but did have a bit of curling. Uh, if anybody's got any tips for what the best way to sort out curling on carts is, I'd be I'd be uh, grateful for the advice. You know what kind of glue works best, or what methods people have used. So I'm a super army, and that was uh, five pound fifty. Five pound fifty, two fifty postage you're packing though, so eight quid in total. But that's not a bad price for that. I've seen it go for more again. Uh, next one was Exo Squad, in really great condition. That's another one that's got a little bit of curling on the cartridge. Let me see it without me taking it out. Yeah. Well, anyway, great condition. And that one, uh, 1061. Got to have £10.61 for the £2 postage and packing. So it sounds a lot, but it doesn't come up too often on eBay. And when it does, that's about its price. So, yeah, happy with that one. I also picked up a, I can find it, a six button pad, it's third party. But uh, you know you really need uh, one of these for the fighting games, especially. So that's pretty cool. What was that? That was two ninety nine plus one ninety nine postage and packing. Right, uh, onwards with my mission to reunite boxes with carts, loose carts, uh, in an effort to try and save money. Um, so I picked up a couple spare loose carts on eBay. First one was uh, Crew Ball for ten p. With 110 postage and packing, so one 120 for that, and that goes back in the box and manual that I had as part of my big spare boxes uh, lot. So there's that. The next one was Atomic Runner. I got that for 2.99 plus one pound postage. Goes back into the box and manual. Now this one I didn't read the auction. And look at the sticker, look at the state of that mango. Oh well. Still, there's another game reunited with boxing manual. Again, in line with my mission to try and find boxes for loose cartridges, uh, I found something in my parents' attic, uh, and that was a box for Diddy Kong Racing, which I had a loose cartridge for on the N64, so I'm very happy to find that. I had no idea that I actually had that. In fact, in my parents' attic, I also found an actual N64. Um, which I just completely forgot that I owned. It's been there for a long time. Um, so I have actually recently gone out and bought one. So I have a spare N64 now. Uh, if anybody wants to trade that, um, it's open for that. I'll probably do a dedicated trade video at some point in the future, uh, regardless. Now, I bought these off the same seller. Uh, it, was, it was a single auction for £10. Golden Axe 1 and 2. Boxing complete. Uh, these are one of the fuck-ups. Because um, I already had uh, Golden Axe 1 in my parents' attic. Uh, so I, I, I totally forgot at the time that I bought these. But it can be up for trade. So if anybody wants to trade uh, something for Golden Axe 1, in really good condition, then give me a, give me a shout. I got also from Mega Drive, Roll Out to the Rescue. Although I'm pretty gutted to find out that this is actually a Genesis. And I don't want to be collecting Genesis. The box is massive as well. It's a really thick box. Weird. I don't know why that is. Anyway, that one was uh, 175 plus 165 plus in. So, decent price for that, although it is Genesis. I might actually try and find that again on Mega Drive at some point, but never mind. Uh, now, I also went on a bit of uh, Jap import buying kind of spree. Uh, sometimes it's because uh, they were exclusives, supposed to be really good games, and other times I just saw games that are expensive here for cheap. And I've got a modded Mega Drive, so I'm going to see if they, they do the language switch. Um, so, the Japanese imports that I got first is the Land Stalker. That was 319 It's a good price for that. 383 postage and packing though, so, you know, uh, you know, about 7 quid all in. But I just love the Japanese cartridges, it's so cool. So cool looking. And, yep, again, the Japanese do keep uh, their games in excellent condition. It tends to be the case that uh, they're always in good nick. So, Landstalker. Uh, what was the next one? Oh, um, I'll show you the, the ones that aren't exclusive first. Shining Force, the first one, that was 224. With 383 shipping, but altogether that's a, a good price for that. If if it works in English, that's an absolute steal. So I shall be seeing once I finally 
get uh, the cable that I'm waiting on so that I can actually play my modded Mega Drive. I haven't been able to yet since I got it. So Shining Force. Now, these are two exclusives from Japan that I found out from watching uh, Ian Wilson's channel, Mega Drive Memories, of course. And these were Curse. That's a fairly rare game. That was 30 quid all in. And that's about its money. Doesn't come up too often though. And that is an absolute mint condition. I don't know if you can really see, appreciate from my uh, low res webcam, but uh, brilliant condition. Curse. So thanks Ian Wilson for, for the, the shout out on that one. And also this one, FZ Senki Axis. Another Jap exclusive. Another one in mint condition. And that is a kind of isometric shooter. You can't be able to see that really well, but it's another Japanese exclusive. I have to say though, <laughs> this might sound a little bit paranoid, but I am actually genuinely concerned at the potential for these things to be radioactive. Now, if anybody is importing uh, Mega Drive games from Japan and has a gag counter, and I, I'm aware that that's quite an unlikely uh, combination of things, but um, if you do, would you please let me know if your Mega Drive games are radioactive? Because maybe they are, who knows? Anyway, happy with that little selection of import Mega Drive games. Got to crack on. Few original Xbox pickups, again, to go with this uh, mission of mine to get uh, all the decent original Xbox games that are compatible on 360, because they're just so cheap. And these are three games that I've never played before and only heard of one of. But read reviews, they look pretty good. So there's Dreamfall. Original Xbox. Not quite sure what that is. It looks very interesting. Uh, box and complete. It's very interesting from the uh, from the back. It's almost Shenmue-ish in its mix of uh, styles. I, I really don't know what that is. But anyway, if anyone's played that, let me know what you think. Oh, by the way, uh, F uh, F Z Senki Axis was eight pound thirty one. 831 for that with 447 postage and packing so yeah about 13 quid all in and dreamfall was four pound now the last couple of pickups destroy all humans original xbox that was 299 with 125 postage and packing so I'm pretty happy with that and the last one is star ocean which is five pound 70. now this looks like an rpg of sorts so, Star Ocean. Again, if anybody's played that, let me know what you think, because I've not heard much at all about it. But it looks intriguing from what I did read on the internet. So, that's on pickups. A fair amount, and there's still a little bit more to come. One final thing to show you. And this was another disappointment with uh, eBay postage and packing. <sighs> Advertised as mint condition. And it certainly was from the pictures. By the time it got to me, it wasn't. And that was... Samba de Amigo for the Dreamcast. Oh, I can't even get it all in in pictures. A huge box. It's got everything in there. Inside's absolutely brilliant condition. But when it came, it had that big gash out of it. You see. You see, there's a big bloody mark there. It's difficult to see again with the shit camera. Big chunk, big kind of dent there. Now that's going to that's gonna lop at least 15 quid off its value, if not more, for a collector. Uh, and I paid the full price for this, I paid 80 quid. Yeah, 80 quid altogether for that. Uh, and if it was in mint condition, that would be a fairly decent price, but yeah. And the seller had actually sent it in a brown paper bag with bubble wrap on it. Sellers, you do not send huge heavy boxes like this in a brown paper bag, wrapped in brown paper. I don't care if you've put a single layer of bubble wrap, that's not going to save it. You need to put it in a cardboard box. And if you want me to pay more for postage, I will do that, fine. But pretty pissed off with that. So I've been a little bit unlucky with uh, eBay for the first time in a long time in terms of damage to items. But overall, really nice uh, month for pickups. I've got so much to get through in terms of playing. So, um, yeah, that's all for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.